Hello, hello everybody. So I am back doing another one sticker book spread. A lot of these like newer Happy Planner books can like kind of tend to do that. Also, I just want to put my feelers out there. And of course, like I'll post what I'm into on my channel as well. But I've been interested in like Etsy kits and I definitely still love my Happy Planner sticker books, of course. But I've also been seeing some really beautiful things out there on Etsy and I love supporting small businesses and that kind of thing. So let me know if you guys would be interested in watching like Etsy kit spreads. Otherwise I can just, I can just keep those to myself and I can do those on my own if you guys prefer to see like Happy Planner stickers. So let me know, let me know in the comments. Okay, also if you haven't started following me over on Instagram, you should do that. I have some things and I, tend to be like more in the moment active over there. So if you would like to, you can definitely check that out. I'm at creating in chaos underscore official. So we're planning for the last week in April <sighs> where I say this every time that we get together and we do this, but like, honestly, where, where's the time going? Like what is happening? I have no idea <laughs> where things are going. So we'll just start, we'll start pretty easy. This is going to be kind of a like, I don't know, a spread that I put together just in case <laughs> because I don't have a ton of plans going on right now and I can always write things in boxes, but having it a completed spread like kind of completes me and makes me feel motivated. Does that make sense? So like if I know I have like my planner already set up, I'm like, yeah, I can conquer the world. Heck yeah, I can. So the only two things that I absolutely have to mark in here are my sister-in-law's birthday is on Sunday. And then we are going to visit some friends in another town. I almost said the name of the town. We haven't gone there yet. So I don't want to say it as much as I would love to see and connect with you guys. Like I have to make sure there's a little bit of safety as well because you guys who are subscribed and watch all the time, you're not the ones that I'm worried about, but people who like randomly stop by or who are looking to like connect with my kids. I don't know. I am scared of the internet still. <laughs> I think it's because of my, my parents back in the nineties and early two thousands. They like completely scared me of the internet, but also like the internet can be kind of a scary place sometimes. So I, I use extra caution, but we are going to be driving about an hour to see some good friends of ours, which is super exciting. And I love these folks. I absolutely adore them. So I can't wait to see them. So we're going to start with the weekend. So we're going to do this. Oh, this one says flowers are always a good idea. Like, yes, yes, they are. I am generally not like a big florally person but these like very bright colors I'm just kind of like feeling the vibe like it's very sunny right now let me know what the weather is where you guys are here let's come down together and make sure you can see it's been very sunny like high 60s mid 70s it's been really beautiful here in the pacific northwest no rain which might be a good thing for now, but it worries me later because our summers get so, I mean, okay, hot for us, but also just like dry for like our climate. We're used to, you know, a lot of rain and stuff. And so when we don't get a lot of rain, you know, we are like mini California, like we are really prone to forest fires if we don't get our correct amount of rain in that way. So that worries me a little bit. I hate summers where we have the like battle of the the forest fires that's never good so I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of rain like I wouldn't like too much here's what my ideal would be <laughs> I'm sure this is everyone's ideal but like could we get <laughs> like please could we have just enough rain in the nighttime to like keep things moist per se and then could we also have like sunshine during the day like that would be that would be kind of ideal right like that would be that'd be the way to go so yeah, yeah, that is kind of what I am hoping for, but I don't think so. I don't think that will happen. I'm noticing that this sticker book, I thought this was like going to be easy to plan with just one sticker book, but it looks like it's not, it doesn't have as many functional things in here as I thought it did, but that's okay. We will just make things work. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this plain, although I already did yellow. 
I'm just thinking, okay, so I was going to use a monthly box in here and then cover up the missing corner with like a little flower sticker or something. But I feel like if I do two flower stickers, it's going to be too much. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the pink one and then I'll do those leaves. I don't think that would be too much. Also, we're, we're here putting stickers in our planner. Is there anything that really counts as too much? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so then we'll do these. That's cute. And I like to put it on like just enough, but not to like take up as much of the functional room. So yeah, bring on the sun. Yes, I don't know. Usually I am kind of complaining about summer weather and like, this isn't actually summer. This is like spring weather for us. But usually I can get a little, I can get a little complaining about it. But I'm actually like pretty excited for things to get warm and yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it this year. This is cute. We're gonna throw some decorative boxes in here and then maybe another like functional box across here. I think we have some other sizes of those and then maybe some dots. I really like to use those dots to mark things and sometimes just write right on my planner page. When I first started doing that though, I have to tell you that gave me so much anxiety to like write directly on my planner page. I don't know why, but I had been writing on stickers for so long. I don't know why. Just let me know if anybody else is weird like me about, about things like that. Then yeah, we'll go back over to the little dots. I love these multicolored pages of dots. And I do have to say, I love these cloth and paper tweezers. These are working really well. Maybe we'll do know what colors we should do here we've already used blue some green maybe like this color green that's kind of cool and maybe like a pink yeah we'll kind of make a little like checklist here i heard a dog barking and i was like come on man my dog is currently in the backyard and i was like please don't be barking yet friend <laughs> not yet i'm not ready to be all done but she is so funny. So because it's been so like sunny here, I cannot keep that girl inside. She just wants to go like live her best life and like lay on the back porch. Oh, I have a birthday sticker. That's cute. Anyway, and she just loves it. She is living her best life. She is so happy about things. And yeah, she just lays out there and <laughs> finds the sunniest spot just is so happy like she I try to bring her water out there no doesn't want it just wants to lay and like be like get I call it that she's going out there to get her tan <laughs> which is probably not like a healthy thing you know because we probably shouldn't be laying out in the sun anymore knowing all of the like damage it can cause to our skin and stuff but you know she's she's a little puppy she she'll be fine <laughs> But oh my gosh, she's so funny. It's been really great having a dog back in the house. I really enjoy it. Like, of course, there's moments where I'm just like, girl, you're driving me nuts. But I mean, she's only like a 16 month old puppy. So what can you do? She's like so sweet with the kids and she loves other dogs. We go to the dog park like every night. And I know that I know that I guess dog parks can be a little controversial. So that is just the choice that we have made for our dog to take her to the dog park. We have not had any bad experiences or any like diseases or anything like that. So we love going to the dog park with her and she loves it too. I don't think she would allow it <laughs> if we stopped taking her to the dog park because, and it's cute because we have this like little community kind of that has formed at the dog park of like people who regularly go and everybody is like knows each other's dogs and you know it's like it's like a little friend group it's it's very cute I have to say it's a lot of fun and that was really cool for me too because like as an introvert I would just go to the dog park and like do my thing with my dog and like probably not talk to anybody but my kids are so outgoing and so they would like talk to people and so then of course I'd be like <laughs> semi forced to talk to people and it's been it's I've been really good for me actually like I'm glad that my kids push me out of my comfort zone a lot of the time because I need it I feel like I need to practice my social skills a lot of the time so yeah this spread is not turning out to be my favorite but we're not done yet so we can still salvage it 
you know? It, I think it's just because it looks kind of empty. Like, I don't have a ton that's, like, going on. So I don't have a lot of, like, boxes in here. But I think that's what I like about, you know, my spreads. I like having boxes and things that, like, take up the space. I do. I enjoy that quite a lot. Oh, my gosh. I've used up all the little... <laughs> little boxes in here except for the yellow ones and I don't want to put more yellow because I have this long yellow sticker Ooh. what have I done oh no okay so there's that I think I might have used like two different kinds of flowers in here but I think that's probably okay all right so then we'll just use this over here on Monday and then maybe some more of those like dot stickers down here I think I can do that then maybe we'll put this little blue sticker over here that's cute. And then we'll go back. Oh, there was also these like half circle things. What color would I do though? Maybe like a red one. We could put it in between like Wednesday and Tuesday. And then maybe put like one of those labely guys on it. That would be cute. This is actually coming together quite cute. I like it. I'm I got ahead of myself <laughs> by saying that I didn't like it. Okay, that says bring on the fun. Let's see if I can find another one. Okay, it says you got this, but again, that's kind of too much yellow. Oh, here's more. Important, remember this. Maybe. Maybe I'll do the green. That's cute. Remember this. Although I have nothing currently to remember, but we'll figure it out. We'll work with it. Okay, and then we'll come over here and we'll grab maybe like another pink little dot. Although that sticker there is pink, but that's okay. And then maybe like... Maybe we'll do a little more yellow. We can do one little tiny thing of yellow. Okay, this is a shorter, a plan with me that's on the shorter side. This came together rather quickly. It's because I have no plans. But sometimes that's just so nice. Like when I, like, it's not nice to look at in my planner, but it's nice for my, like, brain. And I'm like, oh, I think I'm just bracing for May because, like, okay, this is, like, a sneak peek for my, or actually you've already seen this. But, like, we have so many things. Like, okay, so it's my friend Allie's birthday. I have a concert. I have Delilah has a trip that she's going on. Yeah, May looks to be a bit busy already. And we have Mother's Day. And Delilah's got her art classes. It's just, and we're, like, grinding and winding down towards the end of the year. So this is nice. This is, like, calm before the, <laughs> before the storm, kind of. I'm gonna do another little like flower cluster. I think that turned out cute and I think I'll do it like on the inner side right here, like right by the discs. I think that will turn out really cute. So maybe we'll do like some of these. I could cut these, but I don't think I need to do that. <sighs> how is How has April been for all of you? Are you guys busy or are you like, has it been, has it been calm? How are things? Just how are things going for you guys? Well, let me know. I'm always curious because I feel like I am just sitting here talking and it's kind of like weird to have like a one-sided conversation with yourself in your basement. <laughs> That's just sometimes how it goes. Okay, I think, I think that that is gonna be it for this spread for the moment. So I'm gonna be right back and then I'm gonna go ahead and add like just the tiniest bit of pen here and then I'll see you guys back at the end. Okay guys, I think that is it. That was the fastest add pen to my spread I think ever of life. I'm sure more things will come up. I could even add to my art class if I wanted to. You know, there are always things that we can write in our planners, right? These might be like Sunday chores, who knows? Maybe midweek chores. And I'm sure that I will come up with some things. I do need to make a few phone calls as well, so maybe I'll add those in here. But this is my spread for now. It's so bright and springy and fun and I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So thanks so much for being here. If you are new here, hello, my name is Caitlin. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below. 
thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. And if you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I adore each and every one of you. Here is your internet hug for the day. And if you'd like to find me anywhere else, I will have a new podcast launching on May 1st. So you can check that out wherever you get your podcasts. Um, I'm trying to get that all set up ahead of time so you can kind of follow the page and do all of that. Um, and it's going to start slow. So I'm hoping for an episode a week, but we'll kind of have to see how that goes. But I will link the Instagram that is currently live down below. So you can check that out. And then of course, you can always find me on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official. And yeah, you can also check out any affiliate coupon codes, links, all of that good stuff down in the description box below. And by the way, you guys have fun today.